let's study the concept of dielectrics in a parallel plate capacitor. Say you are given with a capacitor with plate area A and the two plates are separated by a distance D. Here the area of each plate is A. And this capacitor is connected across a battery of potential difference V. Now we know that if we close down the switch, finally the inner and inner two plates of the capacitor will receive charges by the battery and the outer plate will always carry zero charge. In this situation the charges are plus Q and minus Q and we know the charge will be CV and the capacitance can be written as epsilon naught A by D. This we already discussed. In a steady state the final charge on capacitor plates will always be CV. Now say if between the plates whatever volume is there we consider a dielectric slab which is an insulating slab which is having a dielectric constant equals to K and is inserted into the region between the plates such that after insertion it will completely fill the space between the plates. This is a dielectric slab and if it is inserted it will completely fill the space between the two plates. Then in this situation we can say as soon as we insert it, capacitance of capacitor will change to this can be written as C prime which is epsilon R epsilon naught A by D because now there is no free space between the plates, there is a medium which is having some dielectric constant. So epsilon naught A by D is C epsilon R we can substitute as a K. So the new capacitance C prime will change to KC. And as K is always greater than 1 because we know for any medium the dielectric constant is more than 1. So the capacitance will increase and the final charge on the plates of capacitor must be KCV. We can directly write final charge in a steady state must be KCV because the potential difference is maintained by the battery with at potential difference V. So in this situation as soon as the dielectric slab is inserted some more charge is supplied by the battery so that the final charge will change from CV to KCV. That means on insertion of dielectric slab some more charge delta Q will flow through the battery and we can easily calculate the charge flown through battery due to dielectric insertion is this delta Q can be written as, as we know final charge on the plate is KCV initial is CV. That means it must be Q final minus Q that will be CV multiplied by K minus 1. That means in insertion of dielectric slab battery will supply some excess charge to the plates to achieve a new steady state. In the process battery will also do some work and we can calculate work done by battery in the process as W which is delta Q multiplied by the battery potential difference. Because we know that work done by battery is charge supplied by battery multiplied by its potential difference. So this can be written as CV square K minus 1. So always remember that whenever a dielectric inserted in a parallel plate capacitor, its capacitance increases from C to KC. And if it is connected across a battery to achieve a new steady state battery will supply an excess charge CV into K minus 1. In the process battery will do a work CV square into K minus 1.